Beth has been one of my best friends since the mid-90s. And fairly recently, her dear mother passed away. But around 30 years ago, she gave her this paper towel holder that represents the family's last name of Corn, spelled with a K. So around 2001, she no longer needed it and gave it to me. So I'd been using it until around 2015. I moved to Florida and it was broken in the process. So I put it up for safekeeping. And then in 2020, when Beth acquired her very first house, I could not decide what kind of a housewarming present to give her. Then a wonderful content creator named Charlotte gave me this wonderful inspiration and it became this. Stay tuned to see what this actually turns into at the end of the video. And in the meantime, enjoy all of the Easter decorations at the Dollar Tree. We are headed into a new Dollar Tree up in Ocala that I have never been to before. Look, I want you guys to see the sign up ahead. to film all of the different decorations for Easter that the Dollar Tree has in stock right now. This Dollar Tree seems to have a lot of stuff. A little window ornaments and stick signs. And all kinds of baskets and buckets. A few little Valentine's gifts left. They have glitter putty, interesting. Bubbles. Easter ear heads, stuffed animals, Easter bags on the end. See, we saw all of those. Oh, look at these little buckets. How cute. The little Easter bunny and the little chicks. A lot of more Easter eggs. There's some pretty glittery ones. And some more headbands, cute little bunny sticks, we've got some kids arts and crafts here, little paintings, little ceramic figure eggs, oh there's some um, batter or some little walking toys. All these eggs, there's some dye. Look at the Easter chip. Look, there's some bunny heads, some bunny sunglasses. And I think that's it. Oh wait, here's a few more things. Some yarn craft to make bunnies from yarn, I guess pom-pom bunnies. There's some more painting. See, they don't have the big sign that I want, but they've got. Oh, those are cute little yard sign. Okay, so these are all of the Easter products they currently have in stock as you walk right in the store. Cute cardboard bags. And look at the bunny ears and the bunny glasses. And there's some bunny coloring books and we have plates and napkins, and baskets and chalk. Oh, we've got some towels and some kids toys for the baskets some like wind up chicks 
um, some kind of an Easter Bunny ball shooter. I don't know what that is. I guess it shoots balls out of the Easter Bunny. And some coloring things. And some more ear heads. Some toys, some window clingies. Looks like they're out of some things. But they've had the Easter stuff in for quite a while. There's decorating kits. Um, coloring cups. Looks like some garden stuff. And garden um, leaf bags. And there's some bubbles. And little Easter gnomes and or something, stamps. There's some unique Easter bugs. And then along this wall, we have all kinds of Easter eggs. Like a zillion different kinds. Sparkly. Some with faces. animals and then some grass and here we have some Easter decorations oh some garland I don't know if you have a tree tinsel and over here we've got some of the yellow tinsel with little chicks on it and then next to it we have the blue tinsel with Easter bunnies and colored eggs. And above it, the pink with the Easter bunnies also. Next to it, those are Easter bunnies and cottontail garland. And some tinsel uh, rabbit heads, all sizes and shapes. And some wooden signs and some banners. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on the way. Everybody welcome. Happy Easter and Easter greetings. And with my handy dandy camera work, sarcasm, it's going to flip over. There we go. And you can see all of the different really cute flip flops that they had in stock at this location. The emojis and the nautical theme and some unicorns and rainbows with mermaid tails. And above it, we've got some children's ballet slippers and also some of the children's mermaid tails and unicorn uh, thongs with flamingos. And then we've got some stripes and some lemon slices, some watermelon slices and some tie-dye with some navy polka dot behind it. And then we've got some leopard print down here super cute and all of those are just a dollar and then we've got some scarves of all different spring themes well really just spring floral and butterflies and some very pretty colors as I'm trying to work my way through pulling these out to see them better they've got about three different kinds maybe I see that blue one the butterfly and then this pink and white butterfly one right here is very pretty you can also use those to make other things if you're a sewer or a crafter and then we've got some of these Easter or I'm sorry spring bags gift bags and this is coconut citrus potpourri with the spring bucket pails and then we've got some butterfly keepsake boxes or gift boxes for something small enough to fit in and then you don't have to wrap it I hate to wrap presents I'm so bad at it but I love these bows they are so cute you get two in a pack all different colors and they're like flowers these are especially my favorite and I see three colors, the pink and the purple and the bright pink. And then around the corner, we have some spring garden party supplies 
with the uh, paper tablecloths. And these are coasters right here. They're like felt coasters that were pretty interesting. Don't know if they would last long. And then the supplies for the paper plates, napkins. Over here we have some lays. And you could always even just cut those apart and use them as a garland of some type. And then this is an actual felt floral garland that they had next to it very springy and pretty it's nice to have some flowers we need we need bright colors and some really cool paper lanterns i bought one from dollar tree a couple months ago i think it's this one i'm gonna have to dig it out and see and put it together and then we've got these bandanas right here they were almost kind of a silky soft feel to them they weren't crunchy at all with the flowers and the bright colors and the checkered prints as you can see very cute I liked those and these purple straw hats with corresponding purses below them purple blue and green and then we've got the pink and the yellow and then below this, we've got some interesting infinity scarves and looks like four different prints. Anyway, that was it for my Easter and spring supplies at the Dollar Tree. Thank you for watching my first video and stay tuned to see how my friend's present turned out. It's very blingy. Thanks. Now getting back to my project, I painted the frame with a country chic licorice chalk paint. I used three coats of that. Then I used two bottles of that hologram glitter effects spray. As you can see, it looks gorgeous outside. It's so sparkly. After that, I used the Dollar Tree gold trim to put around the edges of it. I had to cut them down into the threes. As you can see, Sir Pounce wanted to help. I just happened to have this Elmer's glitter glue in stock already in my house. So I used that to tack down the gold edges. I spray painted the letters that I got from the Dollar Tree gold. And then as you can see, I finished the corn and the trim around the frame with a protective finish. Then I used the Dollar Tree wood glue to glue down the letters and the corn. And voila! I loved how it turned out. And I think my friend loved it too. It looks great in her bar and they seem pleased. Thank you so much for tuning in to my very first video. These are some of the supplies I used, and I can only get better from here. So if you made it this long, I really appreciate it. And watch the next one, because they'll get better.